Hey there guys, welcome back to another Fly Time Friday. Tonight I'll be tying a Congo streamer, and this is a really simple streamer that uh, I fish a lot for brown trout and pike. And we're starting off with a size 8 Allen bass bug stinger hook, and some 6 aught white thread. And this entire fly is going to be made up with Congo hair, and for the top portion of the fly, I will be using uh, this like olive uh, brown color Congo hair and this Congo hair is purchased from fly tires dungeon It's super cheap stuff. It's kind of like EP fiber um, but it's much cheaper and it's basically the same thing just uh, Maybe a little stiffer than EP fiber a little less sheen to it also, but I'm gonna take a relatively uh, sparse strip of this uh, Congo hair I'm gonna cut the whole strip off and I'm gonna work with that most of the fly. But So the tail is gonna be a good bit longer. And this is a really sparsely tied fly. It's a lot like a clouser minnow. The more sparse you go with it, uh, often the better it is. So what we're gonna do is just take you know, a strand like that and I'm gonna pull both ends to get a uh, taper moot going on both ends so you don't have uh, straight cuts. And I'm going to tie that in in like a uh, what's known as like a 70 30. Basically, 70% of that strip is off the back, and 30% is left up here that we're going to fold over. So, just tie that in right on the back of the hook. A few wraps, let it hang off the back, and then I'm going to flip the, this. I'm going to split it in two and push it down the side and just tie that so it stays back. I'm gonna move up the hook shank and repeat that process two more times and then we're gonna add white under the belly. All right, so now I'm gonna take about the same size the clump of Congo hair and do a longer portion right under the belly. Make sure you taper the ends out. And we'll flip the fly over. Just lay that right down the belly. You can almost like see that hook shank through all the fibers. I mean, it's extremely sparse, um, but it, all these slick back and make a nice profile when it's wet in the water. Um, it's almost see-through, which is what you're going for. And we'll do the same thing uh, just to finish the head out. Uh, about the same size clump of material, but we're going to make it a little shorter so it doesn't flow all the way back. We want to start building up a little bit of a head bulk there. going to build up a little bit of a thread base for the uh, eyes to cling to. Go ahead and whip finish. And we'll use some uh, gel super glue to glue the eyes on and then finish it off with some uh, thick loon UV resin which is this stuff right here and that'll create like a skull around the eyes.
right, so that's looking pretty good. I'm just gonna do a quick little trim up and uh, just kinda shape it a little bit, but we pretty much got the profile without trimming any. So that's the uh, Congo bait fish. Um, like I said, I fish this for trout and bass a lot. And what's cool about this is that it is super lightweight. So um, these eyes get it down and it kind of breaks the surface of the water. And then um, it has really nice like jerk action. But then when you go to do your back cast, all that water just um, slings out of it and it becomes a super lightweight fly. And you can actually, I, I run like two of these in tandem a lot and do like a tandem streamer rig and maybe different colors and things to figure out what they're hitting on. But you can create a really cool little like schooling pattern with like two of these going. So hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you next week on another Fly Time Friday. Thanks for watching.